Hello, Hope Schoolers! It's me again, Gary Teacher, here at Hope School Reading Time. I hope that you are sitting down and ready to learn! Woo! Today I have a book. It's called Piggy Book. Let's look at the story. Piggy Book. And this book is by Anthony Brown. All right, what do you see here in the picture? This is important for the story. This picture here is very important. There's one girl, she's carrying her whole family. Oh, it's so heavy, right? This is called piggyback ride. Piggyback ride. When you carry someone like this, piggyback ride, but this is called piggy book. <gasps> mm. Wink, wink, wink. All right, let's go to the next page. Ba -boom. Piggy book. What do you see? I see <gasps> two, wink, wink. Yeah, that's right, pigs flying. I see two pigs flying. Here's the first picture. Look, the family, they look very happy, right? The dad, the two sons. Mr. Piggett lived with his two sons, Simon and Patrick, in a nice house with a nice garden and a nice car in the nice garage. Here's the garage. Can you see it? Garage. Garage. It's nice. Oh, his hair is nice. His pants are nice. That means good or cool. It can mean either good or cool. Inside the house was his wife. Yeah. They had two sons. So that means dad and mom. So husband and wife. And here they are. What are they doing? Are they waiting for someone to put food in their mouth? No, they're yelling, right? Hurry up with the breakfast, dear. Hurry up, bring the food. He called every morning, every morning. Hurry up with the breakfast, dear. He called every morning before he went off to his very important job. His important job. You work to have money so you can get food and have a house. It's very important. And then the sons, hurry up with the breakfast, mom. They're very, they're yelling, right? Ah! Simon and Patrick called before they went off to their very important school. Their very important school. My important school. His important school. And then two people. That's their important school. Oh, what do you see in the newspaper? Everybody's yelling. After they left the house, Miss Piggott washed all the breakfast things, made all the beds, vacuumed, shh, vacuumed, all the carpets. Carpet is not hard, it's soft. Carpet. And then she went to work. So she did some lots of things. Then she went to work. Hurry up with the meal, Mom! The boys called every evening when they came home from their very important school. So there's morning, afternoon, then evening. That's close to night. Evening is close to night. So they, in the morning, they what do they do? Ah, hurry up, Mom! And then after they get home, the same thing. Hurry up, Mom! When they came home from their very important school. Hurry up with the meal, old girl. 
He's calling his wife old. Hmm, interesting. Mr. Piggott called every morning when he, every evening when he came home from his very important job. He's waiting for his food. Where's my food? And then you can see his shadow over here. Mmm, sausages, french fries. What's this, red stuff? What's this? Ah, polka dot. A polka dot bow tie and a striped shirt. It is striped, it is polka dot. As soon as they had eaten, I'm done. Here you go, wife. They had eaten. Miss Piggott washed the dishes. Did the ironing. So there's clothes here. Then wash the clothes. Oh, sorry. This should be like this. Wash the clothes. Did the ironing. And then she cooked some more. Ah, uh, what are they doing? Ah, they are watching TV. Are they, are they working? No, not really. They are relaxing. Maybe they had a hard day. Mm. One evening, when the boys got home from school, there was no one to greet them. No one said, hello, welcome home. Oh, no one's here. <gasps> no one is here. Where's mom? Mom is mom, it's the same thing. De they demanded, where's mom? Demanded Mr. Piggott. Where is she? Right now, I want, it, I want to know now. That's demanded Mr. Piggott when he got home from work. She was nowhere to be found. On the mantelpiece, so there's a fireplace, then mantelpiece, mantelpiece was an envelope. You can see the envelope. Miss Mr. Piggott opened it. Inside was a piece of paper. Can you read it? Let's read it together. You are pigs. Oink, oink, oink. Uh. She said they're pigs. Look at his hand. Is that a real hand? No, it's a pig foot. <gasps> oh no. It's messy. But what shall we do? said Mr. Pickett. They had to make their own meal. They had to make their own meal. It took hours. It was so long and it was horrible. It was really hard to make it. It was horrible. Horrible means really bad. Next morning they had to make their own breakfast. It took hours. It took a long time. And it was horrible. The next day and the next night and the day after that, Miss Piggott was still not there. Mr. Piggott, Simon and Patrick tried to look after themselves. They never washed the dishes. They never washed their clothes. Soon, the house was a pigsty. A pigsty is a place where pigs lived. So, it's very messy. When is mom coming home? The boys squealed, <coughs> squealed. After another horrible meal, really bad meal. How should I know? Mr. Piggott grunted. <laughs> this is grunting. <laughs> How should I know? 
Mr. Piggott grunted. They all became more and more grumpy. Grumpy means not happy. You can see them here. What's this on their clothes? Oh, they need to wash their clothes. Wash it, please. One night, there, there was nothing, <gasps> nothing in the house for them to cook. We'll just have to root around, that means look for, and find some scraps. I mean, little pieces of food, scraps, snorted Mr. Piggott. And just then, Mrs. Piggott walked in. Please come back, they snuffled. Please come back. Mom, we need you. So Mrs. Piggott stayed. She stayed. She did not leave. Mr. Piggott washed the dishes. Patrick and Simon made the beds. Mr. Piggott did the ironing. Oh, they are helping. That's so nice. And they all helped with the cooking. They actually, they actually enjoyed it. It's not a lie, it's the truth. They actually enjoyed it. Mom was happy too. <laughs> Yay, my family's helping me. <laughs> and she mended the car. This is mended means fixed. And she fixed the car. Wow, that's so good. She's doing something that's maybe dirty here with her hands, but she likes it. That's nice. All right, and that is the end of our book, Piggy Book. But first, I have three questions for you. All right, are you ready? Number one, who had an important job. Number two, what was the problem for the family? What was the problem? And number three, how was the problem fixed or made better? All right, thank you so much for listening and see you next time. Bye-bye.